The U.S. women's national team is moving on to the knockout round in the World Cup. They beat Chile on Sunday after taking down Thailand in a blowout win just a few days earlier. CBS News correspondent Roxana Saberi has a recap of the match from Paris. It's day 10 of the Women's World Cup and finally game two for Team USA. They took on Chile here in Paris. Team USA scored early when Carly Lloyd became the first player to score in six straight Women's World Cup games. Shortly after, Chile thought they'd got an equalizer, but it was disallowed. The U.S. got a second goal with a header from Julie Ertz. And before the break, Carly Lloyd got her second of the night with a lovely volley to take the game to 3-0 to zero in the first half. In the second half, there were fewer chances for the U.S., and the Chilean keeper pulled off some brilliant saves. The U.S. was awarded a controversial penalty, but Carly Lloyd's strike went wide. The game ended 3-0 to zero to the Americans. Elsewhere, Thailand played Sweden, who scored in the opening six minutes, the fastest goal of the tournament so far. They got another two before halftime. In the second half, Sweden added another to go 4-0. to zero. And then in the 91st minute, Thailand scored their first goal of the tournament. The team and fans celebrated wildly, and some of the coaching staff were brought to tears on the sidelines. Sweden replied shortly after when they were awarded a penalty deep into stoppage. The final score was 5-1. to one. Tomorrow we'll see four more games, and Team USA plays its final game of the group stage on Thursday against Sweden. Elaine? All right, Roxana Severi, thank you.